I've got some news you'll be pretty excited to hear. Elimination Chamber is coming up. The winner of the Chamber will earn a title match for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania. I told you I'd find the right opportunity for you to not only chase the title, but make a real impact. And this is it. Want to hear the details? A chance for the title? Of course I want the details. As you know, six competitors go into the Chamber. Bailey has already qualified, but there's going to be a series of qualifying matches to determine the five other spots. You're in the first one. Don't let me down. Thank you, Molly. I won't. I saw you coming. What? Someone's been a little too snarky for our own good on social media. I don't like it. You think you have what it takes to earn a SmackDown Women's Championship match with me at WrestleMania? I do. My eyes are on the SmackDown Women's Championship. <laughs> too bad the SmackDown Women's Championship is on me. Don't think that just because I'm working with your aunt, I'll take it easy on you. Denise continues to chart her own path in WWE, and tonight she'll look to take a big step toward her first Elimination Chamber match in this qualifying match. It won't be easy, though, not with Lacey Evans standing in her way. Here's what I'm wondering. Can Ava Moreno's partner win on the or she always been the weaker link? We're about to find out. We're going to work for one thing. To the top rope, split leg moonsault. The fatigue is setting in for her. And a slap, too. Set up for the side rush and leg sweep. Placing them into the corner. And Evans is really being knocked around here. Yeah, Lacey needs to rethink her strategy fast. Irish whip into the corner, and she's got Lacey Evans on the defensive. Blows like those can make a difference in this match. Is that Dewdrop? What's the SmackDown Women's Champion doing out here? Could be about a certain prediction on social media earlier. Lacey's using it to her advantage with a quick roll-up. This qualifying match is over. Lacey Evans has qualified for the Elimination Chamber, and her opponent is not happy. Which seems to be exactly what Dewdrop wanted. Tough break out there, kid. Tough break? Dewdrop robbed me of my opportunity. What would you want me to do? Have you watched the product? WWE management can hardly ever keep people out of matches, and nobody broke any rules. Besides, heard you were poking the bear a little bit on social media. The bear being Dewdrop. I'm just supposed to keep quiet and not want the SmackDown Women's Championship? No, but keep in mind that you're not the only one trying to get ahead. No need to put a target on your back. Anyway, Dewdrop's made her point now. Hopefully, she'll stay out of your way. Because management's decided that while Dewdrop's interference was legal, it is also enough reason to give you another shot. Thank you. I appreciate it. You'll get another opportunity to qualify for a chamber spot next week in a fatal four-way. Want to tell me what that was all about? What do you mean? My client had an issue with another WWE superstar who called her out on social media and my client decided to make that issue known. Justine, come on. It's me. Okay, listen. I meant what I said about keeping our personal relationships separate from business. But I also didn't tell Dewdrop to interfere in your qualifying match. Not that I could have stopped her if I wanted to. You could have done something, Justine. What? 
What am I supposed to do to stop the SmackDown Women's Champion? You know, the one who likes to solve problems with her fists? Keep your head down and Dewdrop will back off. What the heck? Dewdrop is doing it again! She's attacking before the Fatal 4-Way match! Come on, someone get out here and put an end to this. Dewdrop's out of control. Finally, it's over. Right, after that beat down, it's safe to say this match is now a triple threat. Well, Xylee ended up qualifying for the Elimination Chamber. There's only three spots left now. Dewdrop's made it pretty clear that she's not going to leave me alone. I need to take her out before my next opportunity. Yeah, I saw the hashtag. But next opportunity? LJ, you've already had two chances. Do you really think WWE management is going to give you another one? But you saw what happened. I didn't even have a chance to compete in the Fatal 4-Way. I don't know. It all seems like just another hazard of being a WWE superstar. Besides, I don't understand why you're so set on qualifying for the Chamber. Not when I'm going to qualify in my match next week and win the Chamber anyway. Seems like wasted effort. <laughs> I welcome the friendly competition. But let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Even if I don't get another chance, I still need to take care of Dewdrop. So I'm planning to take matters into my own hands and I'll be drawing on a bit of inspiration from you. It's gonna be a little sneaky and a little dirty. That's just the way I like it. And there you see Dewdrop who's been targeting possible opponents before Elimination Chamber. Looks like she's the one who's getting targeted now. That's what you get. Hey, hang on a second, guys. It seems like... Oh, man, they couldn't wait any longer. They're already tearing each other apart backstage. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. She flips it back on her. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Two drop on the receiving end. Good night. Good grief. Oh my god. Boom, head kick connects. Able to interrupt the attack. And here we go. Oh, look into the arm bar. Just wrenching. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Dewdrop showing no respect for her opponent right now. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. <laughs> Big cross body. The parking lot is a literal playground of pain. This is getting ugly very fast. Cross body! Strong forearm. I don't know what these superstars are thinking. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's not good. That's a parking area, not a rest. Dewdrop drop with a reversal into the ambulance. Dewdrop's doing everything she can to make sure she doesn't qualify for the chamber match. You think I'm gonna stop? I didn't become smart demons. Look out! That car came out of nowhere! This has escalated quickly. We need medics on the scene immediately. Ava Moreno? What the hell? I think
think her tag team partner's just as shocked as we are. Looked like you needed some help. Well, that was exciting. Exciting? Also pretty extreme and unexpected, but uh, thank you for having my back. Of course. As far as I'm concerned, we're a team, even outside of tag team business. In any case, I think it's safe to say that Dewdrop is handled. I don't think she'll be trying to stop either of us from qualifying for the Elimination Chamber. Carmella qualified while we were dealing with Dewdrop, but there's still two spots left, and two of us. About that. You're going to have to try to qualify for the both of us. What do you mean? Molly had some words for me. I guess despite how often it happens around here, attempted vehicular manslaughter is frowned upon. She took me out of the qualifying match. But somehow you, the golden child apparently, are getting your third opportunity. Ava, I'm so sorry. Honestly, it was kind of worth it to see Dewdrop bounce off the hood like that. Just do me a favor and win the chamber so you can take the championship at WrestleMania. It'll just mean that it'll be easier for me to take the title off you later. Oh, come on. What? I'm ambitious. The determined rookie is hoping the third time's the charm tonight as she attempts to qualify for Elimination Chamber yet again against Dio Sky. I'll promise you this, there won't be a fourth chance. It's now or never. Barely no love lost between these two with a display like that. To the top rope, split leg moonsault. Oh, well placed kick. She's forced onto the defensive now. She can withstand the punishment though. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Just a blitz of offense on Eo here. Eo has to start volleying back somehow. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Sax. No. Ooh -hoo. That is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. She sent back in under the ropes. Hey, I'm not exactly sure where we stand right now. Am I allowed to say congratulations? I'll allow it. Well, congratulations then. I mean it. You and Ava really did a number on Dewdrop. Good thing, too. If she had been able to get herself to your match tonight, I wouldn't have been able to stop her from running wild on you. Good thing we took care of her then. Sorry about that. Oh, no need to apologize. I'm talking to you as your aunt right now. Speaking of, I may have mixed the personal and my business just a little bit. Dewdrop was starting to plot how to get her revenge on you when she's recovered. It was getting nasty. I'll have to be prepared then. That's not my point. Even though we're on opposite sides of this, I still care about you. I'm not an idiot. I know you've been trying to avoid me. I don't want that kind of relationship with you. It's not the kind of relationship I want either. Good. And just so you know, 
I was able to talk Dewdrop down from doing something extreme. Instead of renting a literal bulldozer to get her revenge on you, I convinced her to take a different tactic and have a chat with Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon? What does that mean? You'll find out soon enough. Get excited, because it's that time. Time for me to tell you about the Elimination Chamber preview match. What's the plan? Before the weekend's Elimination Chamber Premium Live event, we're holding a preview match on SmackDown. A six-woman tag. You, Zia Lee, and Lacey Evans versus Carmella, Bailey, and Dewdrop. Fine by me. This is a last-minute scratch tonight, so this Elimination Chamber preview is now officially a two versus three handicap match. No details on Lacey Evans' absence yet, but it's certainly not like her to know so. Now, definitely a head scratcher, but these five superstars will have to do their best to ignore the distraction and focus on the business at hand. Oh, my goodness. They barely keep up with all these strikes. And that was a hell of a combination we just witnessed. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. She's enduring some damage. Handicap matches are all about strategy, and right now, her strategy simply isn't the effective one. But that can always change. She did her homework there. And did you hear the impact of that? And some effective offense with that one. Dewdrop getting worked on right now. This is all of Dewdrop's fortitude getting tested. bit of offense with that maneuver. She sent flying into the corner. Injury! Arm ringer applied. Red Lariat with the arm wrench. Very nice. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. She has become relentless at this point. As them hooked.